Hey YouTube, um, back once again. Uh, it's Friday today um, and we end up in the same car park as last time. Um, just trying to think what day it was. No, I think it was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. Um, we end up in the same car park as last time um, and having driven round twice trying to find a space, uh, somehow ended up in exactly the same parking space. Um, so we've been into, or oh, I've been into HMV, um, I found another charity shop, um, not only open but one that I'd never even seen before, um, so yeah we're going to have a quick look, uh, a couple more trading tips that uh, I discovered last night, um, 101 films I've had a sale on for quite a while and there was three titles specifically that I found um, but HMV only had two of them. Um, third one I need to check 101 films website because um, I know they were having the sale on there for a while but I've got a feeling they might have ended it but HMV is still doing most of their 101 films titles at uh, $5.99 so I've got three one was for me uh, and the other two for trade uh, so for me I bought the Quest Van Damme movie um, it's a long time since I've seen this um, but yeah, 5 dollars on Blu-ray. It only trades in for 8 but I'm going direct to CEX, so um, for the extra couple of quid, I'm um, happy to do that because there's uh, another CEX I'm visiting in a, in a little while. got some stuff in there I really, really want. Um, and i got another one of those to trade in. And I also got um, Cherry Falls. Uh, this trades in for a tenner. I was really shocked. I, it never even occurred to me to check these and I was just looking through the, the stores that I'm going to visit today um, to see what they had in stock and this came up and it was showing at uh, £10 trading which I thought that was uh, quite weird because it's not a film that's out of print um, and it seems to be easily available. HMV had plenty and again 101 films up until recently. I haven't checked for a few weeks. Um, had it on sale there for six pounds and uh, I think I bought mine on uh, eBay a while back for a fiver so it's yeah it's not uh, particularly hard film to find so why it's trading at a tenant I'm not sure but uh, I'm happy to take advantage of that and then finally one I bought for myself um, again this is one that I found in exactly the same HMV that I was in on Tuesday um, funny enough I didn't see it that day um, but we've got Parker's Revenge, the uh, limited slipcover edition from 88 Films. Um, again, this is one I haven't seen on the shelf for a very long time with the slipcover. Um, it seems to have sold out a long time ago with the slipcover. Even the ones I've seen in CEX on the shelf uh, haven't had the slipcover. So yeah, to, to grab this for 9 99 yeah, I was well happy. Uh, and then the charity shop. Um, the, the, the sign said uh, CDs and DVDs, 50 pence each, and I had a couple of quid change in my pocket. And I thought, well, you know, if I find four, that'd be great. And uh, I found, I can't remember which one of these I found first, but I found a Danger Mouse DVD. And I thought, oh, it's a long time since I've seen Danger Mouse. <laughs> Sometimes I've seen a lot of things, but Danger Mouse I used to love as a kid, um, or as a pre-teen and I suppose even as a teenager um, I liked Danger Mouse and I used to have one of these on DVD but it's not on my app so uh, either I've never scanned it or I don't own it anymore but yeah I found uh, Danger Mouse but then I found another Danger Mouse and a third one and these are all on like a, a rotary carousel sort of card stand. Um, but there was a bunch of DVDs on the shelf as well. And I'd spotted out the corner of my eye. Um, Dungeons and Dragons. This is volume four. And I knew I had a couple of these. I had to check. And I've got volumes one and three. So I've got four now. So I just need two to complete the set. And then I spotted some more. Danger Mouse. At which point I'm thinking... I don't have enough cash for this. I hope they take cards. Um, so yeah, it's another Danger Mouse. And I had a brief look at the back of these. I couldn't see any uh, 
doubling up on stories. I didn't realise there, there was this much Danger Mouse even made. Yeah, and another one. I think that was uh, one, two, three, four, was five altogether. Uh, and then I spotted Toy Story, so I scanned it, and it still trades in for a quid. So I've got that to trade in, so that half pays for what I got. And then finally, uh, at this point I'd seen another sign that, was, that showed uh, four DVDs for a quid. So I went up and asked him, I said, are the DVDs 50p or are they four for a quid? He said, well, they're both really. He says, if you buy one, they're 50p, but you can have four for a pound. And I was struggling at the end. And I spotted this and I, I said to the guy, is, that, is this included in that four for a pound? He said, yeah, any DVDs. Um, so that was great. So we've got robots, Magic Roundabout, but specifically I got this for Chicken Run. Um, I do enjoy Chicken Run. Magic Roundabout I've never seen. I used to watch the cartoon. Or the, it wasn't a cartoon, was it? It was a stop motion thing as a kid. Robots was, I think it was okay. Again, I've not seen that one for quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I got eight in total, 10 films. Well, 10 films, but you know what I mean? Eight DVDs, but one of them's got three in. So 10 in total for two pound, and then I'll get a pound back on Toy Story. Uh, yeah, so that's it for today's pickups, or so far at least. Um, but I've got two more CEXs and another HMV if I've got time um, it's coming on at two o'clock and I'm, I'm mindful that I think HMV close at four at the moment unless they've revised that um, and I've got a couple of reasonable drives ahead of me to get to those two um, unfortunately the first one I'm going to isn't the town that's got the HMV but that's got the best CEX stock that I'm hoping is in good condition so I can get that using some of my uh, trading money, my vouchers that I've got. Anyway, I'm going to cut this short now. Uh, maybe I'll be back for a, a second helping in this video. Um, if, uh, I'll, if I get CX stuff from CX, I won't show it in this video. I'll, uh, I'll do a separate one because I've got two boxes, uh, two parcels at home that arrived today that I need to uh, open. So we'll do all that in one video. But if I find any more charity shops, charity shop stuff, um, I maybe add it to this video. But yeah, for now, um, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Ta -ra. So back again in another car park, and I've literally just managed to get back to the car, and it's really starting to rain. Um, yeah, I've, I've been lucky because uh, the whole time I've been. Here, I'm, I'm in Bishop Auckland now. Um, this is my second stop of the day. Um, but just check it and see what the time is because I'm going to feel it. I'm way behind. Yeah, so it's, it's four o'clock, um, which means I ain't getting to. Uh, HMV, the second day HMV today at least. Um, I realised as I was coming out of CEX, it was it was nearly half past three. Um, that I wasn't going to do it. When I checked the sat nav, it's, it sat nav tells me it's forty seven minutes away, there, which can't be right. Um, so I meandered slowly back to the car, hitting out some of the charity shops. Um, didn't find a lot, um, but I I got a couple of things in. Uh, Salvation Army uh, so I got what I believe is probably a German DVD um, it's a uh, romantic city Venice or carnival in Venice uh, apparently there's a whole collection of these um, so yeah that was that was two pounds which is something I've never seen before and it's not on CEX's website, so I thought, for, you know, it's worth getting. Uh, and then this, I was so excited when I saw this. Um, I've got the first series. I've got a feeling I bought it last time I was here, the first series, but I'm not sure. Um, touch of Cloth. Now, they're asking £3 for it, which um, is a bargain. I mean, it trades in for four. I think it sells for six or seven at CEX. Might even be eight. Um, I did check. But... Checking the discs, and this is a reason why you should always check your discs. So, 
one of those is sealed. Series three is sealed. Series one I have. Series two. I don't know if you can see. There's, look, there's a nice big crack. Right, you can just see it on the hub there. But we'll get the disc out. There it is. Massive crack. So I, I took it up to the counter. I was I, I almost put it back on the shelf and I took it to the counter. I thought, no, I'll tell the guy. It, it's funny because you know the amount of people I see in charity shops and boot sales and places uh, don't check the discs, and that's the reason why you should always check your discs. Um, so I thought, no, I'll take it to the counter because if somebody else picks it up, they might not check. And so I told him, I said, you know, the disc in here is cracked. And he had a look, he said, oh, blimey, he said, um, didn't realise that. He said, tell you what, if you want just the other two, you can have them for a pound. And I said, well, if you give us the box, because you never know, I might find the other one to stick in the box with it. And he said, oh, just take the whole lot. <laughs> so I got the whole, the whole lot for a quid, which is good. Um, I mean, I would have paid a quid for that, th for that uh, third series anyway, um, which is sealed and I haven't seen. Um, I haven't seen out and about, should I say. Although I was wondering, just looking at it now, Karen Gillan's in it and I don't remember seeing her in this. So maybe I haven't even seen series three. Um, I definitely saw series one and I'm pretty sure I saw series two because there was a bit of a gimmick in series one of one of the characters dying and then he comes back in series two. Um, anyway, but I, I don't remember Karen Gillan in series three. But uh, yeah, I'm chuffed to have got that. It just means I've got to find another copy of of series two well there we go uh, so that's that's it just a, a couple of pickups from uh, from the Salvation Army um, I'm going to head home because I don't think there's any point going up to Sunderland there was some stuff in CEX um, in fact I, I made a list before I came out of, of the things that I really wanted in the different shops that I was going over I'll, I'll take a little look at that but the, the main things I wanted from Sunderland and the reason why I was going other, other than the fact there was a HMV there is um, they had some uh, mummy, some original Universal Monsters mummy Blu-rays. Um, all, I'll say all six, the first six. So the first mummy movie, then there's two double sets with um, the Curse of the Mummy, the Tomb of the Mummy, I can't remember what the other two are called. And then the, the fourth Blu-ray uh, has the mummy, Abbot Castello meet the mummy. I think the whole lot was about 12 or 13 pounds, which was a bit of a bargain. So I was going there for them, but I, I think there might have been one or two other things. Um, but yeah, I, I will be doing that today. But uh, there's also another one I wanted to hit Hartlepool as well because there's a, a Sarah Connor Chronicles Blu ray in there that I wanted. So I might do both of them tomorrow. I've traded everything in that I had. Um, and I've got, I don't know how much in the way of uh, of um, trading left, but I want to say it's probably 60 something quid left. But I've spent a fair bit and I've got a, I've got a bag right there uh, from here and another bag in the back from uh, earlier on, which we'll take a look at those um, when I get home and when I unbox those... Uh, those two parcels that I uh, that I mentioned before. Anyway, I'm going to go now and I'm going to try and head off home. Looks like the rain's calmed down a little, uh, so we'll see how it goes. Cheers now. Ta-ra.